are you doing an ssd upgrade is your old hard drive having problem and crashing a lot and you need to change it then you may need to move your windows from your old hard drive to new one hello everyone welcome to fixmaker today i am going to show you how to move windows from one drive to another drive without losing any data you can move your windows from hard drive to hard drive hard drive to ssd or ssd to hard drive by watching this video, you can do all of this without losing any data. So let's start. To demonstrate the process, I am going to use a 250GB hard drive where I am going to move my windows from my primary PC. In your case, it may be any other hard drive called SSD. You just need to get both of your source and destination drive connected at the same time in the same PC to move the windows. So let me connect my new drive to PC and then we will meet on desktop screen. So we are back. I have connected the destination drive to my PC. Now let's see if it is detected. Let's click on start. Go to control panel. If the control panel does not look like same, go to view by, change it to category. Then go to system and security. From there under windows tools, Click on create and format hard disk partitions. From there, disk management window will open. As my new hard drive is detected, it's asking me to choose the partition style. As my PC has UEFI BIOS, I'll choose GPT and click on OK. As we can see, the 250 GB hard drive has detected as disk 0 and disk 1 is my primary hard drive. At present, there is no partition on the new drive. So if I go to this PC, you can see there is no partition from new drive. Now if I right click on it, create a new simple volume, it will show up on the PC. And now I can use it as storage drive. Now we don't need the partition for now, so I simply delete it. Now it's time to move the windows we are going to use a free software called macram reflect let's go to the browser and download the software from google i'll type macram reflect hit enter and from here this is the official website of macram reflect let's click on it scroll down a little bit and look for backup at home section from there under reflect it free, click on download free. From here, scroll down and choose I need personal free license and click on continue. Now this will download a exe file from where you can download the macrim reflex setup. Let's close it and look for the file in download folder. For you, the file may be in here, but as I'm using download manager, it will be in program folder. Let's move the file on the desktop. Let's launch the application. By default, the setup will be downloaded in download folder. I'll change it to desktop. You can keep this box checked to run the setup directly after downloading. Then click on download. I'll cancel the download as I already have downloaded the setup. Now let's go to the folder and launch the setup. Click on next. Next again. Accept the license agreement. Click on next. Just check this box and click on next. As I, as I am online, this option appeared. Just uncheck the register option and hit next again and install. After installation, you can keep this box checked to launch the application or you can launch it from the desktop icon. Click on finish. Now this is the interface of Macrim Reflect software. The disk one is the drive where I'll move the windows to. And in disk two, you can see 
all the partitions C, D, E, F, G and three more partitions which has UEFI data and partition data for the hard drive. We need to move these three partitions along with the C drive to get the windows working in other drive. I'll unselect all the partitions and then I'll select the three unnamed extra partitions and the C drive. Let's click on clone this disk. I'll make sure all the four partitions are selected and I'll click on select a disk to clone to. Let's choose the 250 GB hard drive. Then I'll click on copy partitions. If I choose exact partition offset and length, the size of the C drive will be same as my current C drive. And I'll have some leftover space on the destination drive. Or let's undo everything and click on copy partitions again. If I choose shrink or extend to fill the target disk, the C drive will take the entire leftover space of the drive. I want the whole drive to use as C drive. So I'll keep this setting. Let's click on next, next again and this is the list of operations will be performed by the MacRam Reflex software. Click on finish, nothing to change in here so say ok. The clone process is started. This may take 20 to 30 minutes or more depends on your system. The C drive is ready, so it came up on top, close it and you need to wait till this box pops out. It took around 21 minutes in my case, let's say ok. Close it and we are done. Close the Macrium Reflex software. Now we need to shut down and boot from the new drive where we moved our windows to. The computer is off. Now if I press power button, it will boot from old hard drive. To boot from the new drive, you need to know the boot key of your computer. Here are some boot keys according to manufacturers. I'll put a list of boot keys in the video descriptions too. In my case, it is F12. So what I'll do is, I'll press the power button and I'll keep tapping the F12 key rapidly until the boot menu appears. If you fail to see the boot screen and your computer boots up, shut down your computer and try again. After the boot screen appears, choose your new drive where you moved your windows. You may identify your new drive by its model number. Now my computer is booting up from the new drive. First boot may take some time. In my case it took around 15 minutes to start up the services completely. We are on desktop. Now if I go to this PC, we can see C drive is now 232 GB and the old C drive is changed into the H drive. Now it's time to remove those windows from my old drive and make it storage drive. We are gonna need another free software called mini tool partition wizard. Let's go to the browser and download the software. On Google, I'll type mini tool partition wizard and hit enter. The first result appeared as official website of Minitool Partition Wizard. Let's click on download now. This will download an online installer of Minitool Partition Wizard. I'll go to the download folder and move the file to desktop. Let's launch the installer. Hit OK button. Select the option to continue installing free edition and hit next. Then untick the mini tool shadow maker free and I'll untick this too and hit next. Next again. Now it will download and install the mini tool partition wizard to your computer. You can keep this box checked or you can launch it from desktop. Let's click on finish and let's close this. Now this is the interface of mini tool partition wizard.
From here the disk 1 is the 250GB hard drive and disk 2 is 500GB hard drive. And you can see all my data partitions on it. To delete the old windows drive we need to identify the partition name. Let's go to this PC and we can see the old windows drive is now H drive. So now we need to delete the H partition along with the other partitions we copied to 250 GB drive. So I'll right click on the H partition and choose delete. The partition won't delete if I don't apply the actions. Now let's delete other three UEFI GPT partitions too. So we'll have only unlocked space and four data partitions. Let's apply the actions. It's done. Click on OK. Now if I go to this PC, we don't have the old Windows drive anymore. Let's create a partition. Right click on unlocked space. Choose create. I'll keep the size of the partition unchanged and say OK. Apply the action and say yes. It's done. Click on OK. Now we have an empty drive with no windows on it. We can use the partition as storage. Now if I restart the computer, it will boot up from my new hard drive and we don't need to change drive from boot menu anymore. That's all for today. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you don't, hit dislike. Comment below your queries. Let me know if the video was helpful. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.